16 emails, complaints uh, from residents near Mogden in my inbox yesterday. We're going to uh, host uh, at uh, Twickenham Rugby Stadium uh, the Rugby World Cup uh, in a couple of months uh, and uh, the, uh, there is a real risk that uh, the UK could look uh, rather embarrassing uh, if uh, many matches are spoilt by the stench of sewage floating over the stadium. This is happening despite a 140 million expansion uh, at Mugden Sewage Works last year, almost doubling the capacity of the works. Um, I've been working for many years as a councillor with the campaign group uh, MRAG uh, and with council officers and indeed with our MPs uh, to, before me to address this issue. And my predecessor Mary McLeod uh, came to see your, uh, sorry, the, the minister's uh, uh, predecessor uh, Dan Rogerson uh, to, 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 to uh, ask DEFRA to address uh, the uh, issue with some urgency. The storm tanks need, uh, ex uh, need covering. The, uh, the, there need to be more storm tanks because apart from the smell, uh, Mogden is continuing to discharge dilute sewage into the Thames on a regular basis after every time there's heavy rain. Uh, and uh, so I will uh, conclude, as I know time is very short today and others want to speak, uh, by uh, asking uh, uh, Mr. Corsby if uh, I could ask that the minister, the new minister, uh, meet me and local residents and local councillors uh, to try and get a solution to this issue. Um, I mentioned in my maiden speech uh, the impact uh, of uh, Heathrow traffic on uh, the A4 and the M4, both important corridors through my constituency. And uh, how people experience air pollution isn't just uh, the uh, silent killer of uh, um, uh, respiratory illness and, 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 and morbidity, but also uh, you can see it when you put washing out uh, on your cars, on your garden furniture, that uh, greasy dirt. Um, we know that the, the key pollutants around Heathrow are nitrogen dioxide and PM10. And as has already been said by previous speakers in this debate, uh, the UK is already uh, in breach of EU air quality um, uh, legislation. And um, it's uh, likely uh, to uh, continue to be in that case, whether or not Heathrow is expanded. Uh, th there are some feasible improvements, one uh, that can be taken uh, at Heathrow, clean planes, a kiss and drop ski scheme, increased public transport such as uh, uh, increased capacity on the Piccadilly line, cross wet rail, um, air track um, and uh, tunnelling uh, and of course uh, has been mentioned tunnelling of the M4 uh, which uh, will just move the pollution, it's not going to actually decrease it. Um, but the uh, public transport improvements that are mentioned, uh, the modal shift um, is not actually going to be very significant. Um, and uh, we're going to see, we already are seeing increased passengers at Heathrow uh, even before additional runway capacity is built. Um, so, uh, and the, uh, the, there is no ev evidence that uh, the, these changes are going to be adequate to meet uh, the challenges of uh, what will almost be doubling the air traffic movements um, uh, should uh, Runway 3 or Heathrow Hub go ahead. Um, more extreme measures have been suggested. Uh, Clean Air London talks about an ultra-low emission zone uh, around Heathrow Airport. But to be effective, that zone would be so enormous, it would have a serious impact on the economy of the Thames Valley area uh, and would be virtually impossible uh, to enforce. So um, given uh, what has been said uh, by, by speakers uh, before me, um, it's quite clear that uh, on air quality grounds alone, uh, expansion at Heathrow, whether it's Heathrow Hub or a third, run third runway, cannot go ahead because, uh, because of the breaches, the further breaches uh, of EU air quality legislation that that would imply. Yeah.